my Trillium Truthers, it's Jessica here, and I know it's been quite a long time, um, but uh, I'm still here, I'm still around, everything's okay. <laughs> um, things just got really um, busy and hectic because of school, but I am um, really excited to tell you all today that yesterday was my last day, so I am completely finished um, from Humber's graphic design program, which was a three-year program, and three years flew by because um, I'm totally finished now, and uh, looking forward to more structured and reasonable hours in the sense that I'm not using every waking minute to work on projects. Um, so today is Friday, April 21st, and I wanted to finally make a video um, about the word that I received on Wednesday, April, um, or not April, sorry, March 22nd. Um, I know that's quite a few weeks away, um, or in the past, uh, but I still wanted to make a video. I know there's still a lot of um, individuals that subscribe through YouTube and Rumble. Um, so I wanted to, once again, just read it out, especially for auditory listeners or people that just kind of want uh, a little more um, understanding or whichever. Um, but I wanted to, yeah, do a video, <laughs> finally. Uh, anyways, so I do apologize for it being so late. However... Um, for those of you who maybe are new or you don't know, all of these um, words are typed up and they are put on the Trillium Truth blog. So um, whether I make a video or not or how quickly I get around to that, um, I do always post this on the blog so that it's just, it's always up there, it's always out. Um, so it's always there usually the, the day I receive them typically. Um, I usually don't leave those because it's usually you copy, you paste, and then you publish and there's nothing to it. A little more to videos because it takes time to upload and cut stuff out. And, um, yeah. Anyways, so there's a link down below if you want to know where the blog website is. And then also we, um, I do notify individuals when a word comes out. Um, and I link it to the blog and I also link YouTube videos and so on um, through the Telegram channel. So there's a Telegram uh, Trillium Truth channel and that links below as well. And then part of that channel, it's, it's a little confusing with how Telegram sets everything up um, because if you want to leave comments or, um, yeah, if you want to leave comments and so on to a post that I've sent out, um, there's a Trillium Truth chat group and it's just a, it's just the way tr telegram has you configure things so it has to be like a separate avenue so please don't get confused <laughs> with those two um two kind of groups or channels um most likely you'll probably just subscribe to the telegram trillium truth and that's all it is and that's just you just receive posts or announcements and it's just simple like that however if you leave a comment or if you want to yeah leave a comment it will I think subscribe you to the chat group as well which um, there are a few people that like to chat and leave you know they ask questions and so on and I you know um, so that's also available so all those links are in the description box below um, I just wanted to let you guys know that but anyways I'm gonna stop um, rambling on and we're gonna read this word I'm first going to start with prayer, um, but this one um, is called The Secret Place and Wells of Revival, and I received this Wednesday, March 22nd, um, which is crazy how fast everything goes. Like, my sense of time is so thrown, because it's like, yeah, I was... Yeah. Anyways, okay, let's pray, and then I'll read it, and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful day and this day that you have made. And Father, we just um, submit ourselves to you, to your promptings and leadings, and we just invite your presence here along with Holy Spirit, and we welcome Lord Jesus. And Father, um, I just pray that every word that comes out of my mouth, Lord, is uh, done so with pinpoint accuracy, everything that you want to say. 
um, let it all be to glorify you, to say what you want to say, nothing that I want um, misconstrued or said, that it's all you. And Lord, I just submit myself as well as uh, my mouth and this tongue to you and the promptings of Holy Spirit. We just pray um, over the people and those listening, Lord, that you're blessing them with uh, spirits of discernment, that you give them ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart that is receptive to you. And we just pray, Lord, um, and ask for your wisdom um, and guidance that we test the spirits, that we're not just taking everything in at face value, but, Lord, that it's being... Um, filtered through your spirit and we just thank you for that and we just uh, exalt you and lift you up and we just thank you for the wonderful things that you're doing um, in this nation but also personally in our lives as well and we just thank you for that we thank you for your word in Jesus name amen okay so I'm gonna read it and um, once again um, please by all means um, I really urge all of you to always test the spirits um, don't re like if it doesn't feel right to you then don't receive it um, and just yeah move on <laughs> shake the dust from your feet <laughs> okay all right so the secret place and wells of revival the time of shaking is at hand the gallows have been erected and the prison cells assigned the town criers will soon flood the streets wailing and ringing their bells bring out your dead Bring out your dead. Those without hope, those who do not know my name, will bring out their dead. Dead dreams, dead aspiration, dead souls and lives, they will come flooding into the streets. What has been done to us? How could this have happened? A spirit of depression and hopelessness will try to mount and rear itself up, but my people shall prevail. For the wells of revival, wells filled with oil, have been ignited and shall continue to burn across nations. I have sent a special task force of the host to fill these wells with more pressure. Soon the oil that has sat below what can be seen will gush out wildly like uncontained oil, like an uncontained oil rig. The pressure will mount so great, new ports of entry and explosions shall open new gateways one after another after another after another after another towns and cities of unknown origins will be on the news screens yes even the mainstream news will have to report it because it will be everywhere and cannot be hidden what i have planned no man could have dreamed possible but this is the year of fire this is the year of holiness and this is the age of resurrection I am bringing nations to life again and saving lost souls. The prodigals are returning home and the people of the world who have brought their dead, lifeless feet, I will pour out upon them and bring them into my kingdom where they shall have life and have life in abundance. <clears throat> the enemy, in an angry fit of rage, has mounted attacks and assignments against my people. He knows I am up to something, but he fails to see his en uh, fails to see his end is already written, and it does not bode well for him. Blood packs, sacrifices, and altars have been erected in the thousands. A sad attempt to thwart the great outpouring that shall not be stopped. Officials in high offices to children have been used and taken advantage of by the enemy, but it shall not continue. My children, it is time to plead the blood of Jesus. It is time to declare and decree that such assignments of the enemy are null and void from this day forward. One drop of blood from my son, the Holy Lamb of God, eradicates and destroys all curses from the prophets of Baal. These so-called giants <clears throat> excuse me, of transgenderism, sexual perversity and immorality along with murder suicide corruption depravity and abominations dare to speak against me and my kingdom i am releasing a spirit of david amongst my people they shall rise stand and declare the word of the lord this day and slay such giants there are a select few that i've anointed to take on certain giants but all my children carry the authority of Jesus within them. Giants over your family, relationships, giants in your children's schools, giants at your work, 
and in your governments shall begin to topple. Their very heads shall be severed from them, and any effects of sin shall be totally reversed and eradicated by the power of the word of God and through the saving blood of Jesus. The enemy has gone out of his way to persecute the church. He has tried to make an example of my people to silence them. Even those who stand for truth and justice he tries to make an example of, but I shall not have it. The day of reckoning is at hand. Those who have wrongly accused, abused, and belabored shall be caught in their own trap and made an example of. Like a dead chicken <laughs> uh, that is being prepared for a feast, so shall it be done to them. Their legs and arms shall be bound. <clears throat> their deepest, darkest secrets and orders shall be gutted from them, and their glossy white feathers plucked from them to show the real darkness beneath. Oh, yes, they will be dressed, seasoned, and stuffed, ready for the fire at hand, a holy fire, that my children will rejoice, uh, that my children will rejoice for, but a misery for the agents of the enemy. For the plan and purposes of the enemy that were intended for evil shall be burnt to a crisp. Amen. Canada, O oh Canada, a nation filled with lost sheep looking for a shepherd. There are so many bleeding sheep looking for a master and finding one in all the wrong places. But I have come, and I will pour out my spirit upon you, and I shall bring good shepherds who know the good shepherd to shine a light in the darkness and bring the lost sheep home. <clears throat> I will fulfill my kingdom purposes in you, O Canada. It will begin in the most unlikely places, but it shall begin. For I have declared it, Canada, O Canada, let the time of reversals, restoration, and resurrection begin. You are a nation under God. Do not let hatred for leaders and politicians be in the midst of you. For I have said, bless those who curse you and forgive those who trespass against you. I am preparing to stuff these chickens and chickens they are. I say to you, my children, come and dwell in the secret place. Take your position under my wings and pinions. I will protect you and watch over you. Do not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. Sorry, I'm quoting it from uh, 91st Psalms from how I've memorized it. Uh, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Do not give the enemy any permission, declare and decree my word. Know that you are children of God. It is your heritage to trample underfoot the plans of the enemy. You are my victors, champions, and above all, the love of my heart. I am with you, and I have not forsaken or left you as orphans. You are not fatherless, for I am with you. Blessings, favor, and the word of the Lord be upon all of you. This is the day the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Okay, so there is a lot packed into this one. It's not that long, but there's still a lot in it. Um, <clears throat> I'll just quickly go over points that I think people may have questions about or want further explanation. So the opening paragraph where it talks about... Um, Town criers will soon flood the streets, wailing and ringing their bells, bring out your dead, bring out your dead. Those without hope, those who do not know my name, will bring out their dead. Um, the impression that I got from this was that it was far greater than we think. I think the initial instinct that most people will have is just like, oh, there's going to be a lot of dead individuals, which I have no doubt that, and there have already been, um, reports you have to kind of dig for them that there have been lots of individuals who have unfortunately passed away um, especially here in Canada the mortality rate has severely increased um, but the impression that I really got was that the Lord was really speaking to those who don't know him people that aren't his children individuals with and he describes it who have had dead dreams dead aspirations, dead souls, anything 
that the enemy has tried to, that the enemy has stolen, destroyed, and wreaked havoc on individuals and tried to kill. Um, and this is everything from people's businesses to their livelihoods to jobs to um, to just even having hopes and dreams of their futures. Um, it's it covers pretty much everything. Anything anything the enemy has touched, anything he's tried to destroy. Um, the Lord's just basically saying that people will flood the streets and they're going to be crying out, what's been done to us? How could this have happened? Um, and that's when he comes in and that's why he's saying, it's like, this is the time of resurrection. This is the time when I'm going to move and he's going to move through his people. So while I think it, <laughs> while it, has lots of meaning packed into it that I have no doubt that there's, um, it has to do with not only individuals passing away, but it's also anything that the enemy has touched, anything he's tried to steal, kill, and destroy. The Lord wants to take those things, take those situations, take what's been uh, stolen from people. And I mean, um, as his children, we have the hope. We have um, the light of the Lord. We know that um, he's got everything, but for those who don't know him and are trying to live through this life, I mean, it's, and then to go through what we've went through the past several years, I can't even imagine it. So the Lord wants to touch their lives um, and turn things around for them. The other interesting point, ah, yes, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the enemy in an angry fit of rage has mounted attacks and assignments against my people. I think in the last little while there have been individuals, I would say even prophets, ministers, people in the ministry, but even outside of that, even in your own family, um, I honestly <laughs> can testify to this that the enemy has been working overtime and just the craziest things have been happening and he's been just full throttle trying to stop them. Um, stop people from speaking, stop prophets from declaring the truth, trying to take people out, trying to put sickness on them, trying to get them to pull back and not fulfill their destinies. And the, or the Lord describes um, that blood packs, sacrifices, and altars have been erected in the thousands. I honestly have no evidence of this, but I truly do believe that there has been just an overabundance of... Um, agents of the enemy, witchcraft, any kind of um, person trying to follow him. They've been just going, um, like the Lord says, it's a sad attempt to thwart the great outpouring. The enemy knows the Lord's up to something. It's huge. It's big. And any person that is a part of that to bring it into fruition, he's going to try and stop and hinder and annoy them. <laughs> but like the Lord said, it shall not be stopped. Now, he does give us a, kind of an assignment here to plead the blood of Jesus, that it's time to declare and decree that such assignments of the enemy are null and void from this day forward. So we are going to pray. We are going to declare and decree something um, that goes along with that. So we'll do that afterwards. And then the other point... Um, is when he says the day of reckoning is at hand those who have wrongly accused abused and belabored shall be caught in their own trap and made an example of um it's interesting because i've never used or even really heard of the word belabored like b-e-l-a-b-o-u-r-e-d um and so when i looked it up <laughs> the definition of it um i was actually surprised that it actually means um to beat severely or thrash, or to attack verbally and criticize harshly. Um, so I thought that was interesting because it's amazing how that's the en enemy's MO. Like it's literally to make people um, bash and trash each other, even those um, in the family of God. And I think it's time for us to put our adult pants on and start watching what we say because it is so vitally important, especially um, when it comes to other 
people and individuals. Um, and then the other thing that this kind of flows into is you are a nation under God. Do not let hatred for leaders and politicians be in the midst of you. For I have said, bless those who curse you and forgive those who trespass against you. And then he continues on to say that he's preparing to stuff these chickens, that he, the ven, uh, vengeance is the Lord's. And it's so, and I'm not saying, <laughs> I, I know how hard it is and how difficult it is, especially when it comes to leaders in this nation and they directly affect us, whether it's your MPs or people in government, um, especially when it comes to our prime minister. Um, it is so easy to be so critical and get into anger and hatred and you don't even notice it. Um, and I found it even in myself um, and you have to be so careful of it um, because I think as um, children of God or just people in general, you are we are so sick and tired of the craziness that's going on and how these individuals have gotten away or seems that they're getting away with all this debauchery and ridiculous, um, just so unpatriotic, anti-freedom, anti-God agenda. And we know who's behind it. But the answer isn't criticism. It's not bashing. It's not trashing. And I know sometimes we can try and misconstrue that and think that it's like, wow, this is just uh, me, you know, burning with, we want justice, we want holiness, and that's great. But you have to be so careful because it's like, those are individuals, they are people, God created them, and he does love them. He hates, he does not like what they're doing. He doesn't like what, uh, who they're listening to or what they're following. And um, time and time again, it's amazing how you'll pray for certain individuals. And it's always the same. The Lord just wants them to repent. He wants them to be found. He wants to show them that he loves them. And it really is, it is not our place to take any kind of seat of judgment when it comes to um, leaders. Now, um, and it's like he said, it's like you, you bless those who curse you, which let's, face it, I would say that the Canadian church is severely persecuted and there's an agenda against um, all of us, but it's nothing to get unsettled about. It's nothing to get angry about. Um, when you take a step back and you seat yourself where Jesus seated them, it's like he, um, he died for them and their sins and he loves them just as much as he loves us and yes they're making terrible mistakes that are hurting other individuals and they will be dealt with justice will be served the Lord's handling that it's up to us and it's our job to just um, to be whatever the Spirit leads you to do but to be praying for them to be blessing them and to be forgiving them um, because I think the enemy is working overtime to get the children of God to be using their mouths to curse and hinder individuals um, to slow down uh, the Lord's plans. And as annoying <laughs> and difficult as it can be to, uh, to let these things go, I think it's absolutely necessary. You can't in these days have any kind of animosity or unforgiveness towards anybody, especially, <laughs> um, especially when it comes to people and government and politicians and, uh, and just anybody um, working as an agent for the enemy. So I just urge you all, um, yeah, just it's, you know, let the Lord search your heart. Um, we don't, and the thing is, it's more, it's more for your benefit. You don't want to be carrying that kind of stuff around in yourself either. Um, you don't need that. You don't need any more baggage. You don't need that. Um, and it is like carrying a grudge, criticism, hatred, annoyances. It's a burden. It's not, you don't need it. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think that's everything. So um, I'm just going to read a section of scripture, but we're going to pray together and declare and decree some things. I don't know what those are, but we're just going to let Holy Spirit do that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what he says. Anyways, 
Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm reading from Colossians 1, uh, and I'm starting with verse 13 here. <clears throat> and this is amplified, so if it's different translation and it seems longer, that's, that's probably why. Okay. Uh, so Colossians 1, 13. The Father has delivered and drawn us to himself out of the control and the dominion of darkness and has transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of his love in whom we have our redemption through his blood, which means the forgiveness of our sins. Now he is the exact likeness of the unseen God, the visible representation of the invisible. He is the firstborn of all creation, for it was in him that all things were created, in heaven and on earth, things seen and things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rulers or authorities, all things were created and exist through him, by his service, intervention, and in and for him. And he himself existed before all things, and in him all things consist, cohere, and are held together. He also is the head of his body, the church, seeing he is the beginning, the firstborn from among the dead, so that he alone in everything and in every respect might occupy the chief place, stand first, and be preeminent. For it has pleased the Father that all the divine fullness, the sum total of the divine perfection, powers, and attributes should dwell in him permanently. And if we continue on to Colossians chapter 2, verse 13. And you who were dead in trespasses and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, your sensuality, your sinful carnal nature, God brought to life together with Christ, having freely forgiven us of all our transgressions, having canceled and blotted out and wiped away the handwriting of the note bond with its legal decrees and demands which was in force and stood against us hostile to us. This note with its regulations, decrees and demands he set aside and cleared completely out of our way by nailing it to his cross. God disarmed the principalities and powers that were ranged against us and made a bold display and public example of them in triumphing over them in him and in it, the cross. Therefore, let no one sit in judgment on you in matters of food and drink or with in regards to a feast day or a new moon and Sabbath. And then he continues on to go on about religious laws and that you're, we're all set free from that. Anyways. All right. Let us pray for our nation and let's let the Holy Spirit um, do that. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word. And we thank you, Lord, that it is the truth. And Father, I just uh, press in and we just call on Holy Spirit to just pray through us, to pray the perfect prayer of what you want declared and decreed this day. Lord, we just thank you, Father, that we are children under God. We thank you that we are blood bought by Jesus Christ who stands over everything. We thank you that he is exalted in all things, that he has triumphed in all things, and through his victory, we are also victorious. We're victorious in matters of, of our jobs. We're victorious in matters of our families. We're victorious in matters of our God-ordained um, futures and lives, and it's all through Jesus. Father God, we just want to take the time, Lord, to lay at your feet any unforgiveness any bitterness, anxiety, annoyances when it comes to leaders and people in positions of authority that are anti-you, they're anti-God, they're working for the enemy, they're persecuting the church, they're passing bills and laws which are so um, against you and kind of sticking a thumb at you. Um, and Father, it's so easy for us to get into anger. It's so easy for us to just um, to seek justice and to just um, <laughs> to criticize and bash and trash. But Father, we lay these things down, and we forgive those who who have persecuted to give uh, who have persecuted against us. We forgive and and we let those things go. 
we don't carry that burden anymore and we just ask of you to just uh, to take it out of our souls lord we choose as an act of our will to release those things to release anger and unforgiveness and bitterness and annoyance um anything lord that's just blocking uh, blocking up our soul um, we give you permission to just take it out and we receive father and ask for your grace your favor and your blessing, but also your love and your mercy. Lord, we thank you that um, that you are just, that you are holy, that you see and know all things, that uh, you are a perfect judge, that you see and weigh things all with perfection. You know everything. And so, Lord, we give you the position and, the, and, and we, we give that whole judgment and vengeance and correcting wrongs and making them right. We, we give to you um, uh, all of that. And we just speak blessings over individuals like um, our prime minister, like, uh, like those individuals in politics, whether they're in the conservative, NDP, or liberal party, it doesn't matter. They're people, they make mistakes. Some are working for the enemy, some are not. But Lord, we just speak over all of them and we bless them. And we just, um, we thank you, Lord, that justice will be served. And that is what we ask for of you. Lord, we seek and we're crying out for justice. We want, um, we seek uh, holiness. We seek your, um, your presence here in Canada. We seek all of the things that you value here in our nation, in our government, in our economy, in, in every aspect of our lives, in our schools and education system, Lord. We call on you uh, to bring those things to pass. And we thank you, Lord, that you are bringing them to pass, that you are making changes, that you are exposing what is going on, that you're waking um, we thank you that we're already awake, but you're waking up uh, this sleeping nation. You're waking up the rest of the world. And we thank you, Father, that, you, um, that you're working it all out, that justice will come, that holiness has come. And we thank you for resurrecting and bringing to life dead dreams and aspirations, for correcting um, and bringing to life again um, jobs and opportunities and health and wellness to people again. We thank you for bringing back the prodigals and reuniting families and strengthening bonds. We thank you, Lord, that any kind of um, uh, attack of the enemy, whether it's through sickness, disease, or fear, uh, whether it's, uh, it doesn't matter what an uh, avenue, Lord, we just come against it. We come against the plans and the assignments of the enemy to thwart your promises of your great outpouring, Father. And we declare by the name of Jesus and through his blood that all such assignments trying to work here in Canada, whether it's against your prophets, against ministers, against teachers, against those, Lord, you have called to bring this about and we're all a part of it. We just uh, behead and void and nullify those assignments we decree right now in Jesus name that we cannot be cursed and we um, declare right now that such assignments are aborted and void and they cannot continue we we thank you father that we have power over all the power of the enemy and we send your heavenly host a fleet of them to scout out to look out and search for any assignments against any individual, especially those listening, Lord, that they go forth, heavenly host, go make toast, but that they go forth and that they, they just sever those assignments. They, they stop um, those agents of the enemy in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that one drop of the blood of Jesus um, <laughs> eradicates and destroys all the workings of the enemy and we thank you lord that when jesus went into hell that he made a huge display and open show of how he destroyed any authority of the enemy here on earth and we thank you that we have it back 
We have authority through Jesus. We thank you that we're his kids. We thank you that we are blood-bought. We thank you that we're under the blood and that we cannot be cursed. We cannot be separated from you. Um, any assignments against your children listening to this, Lord, we just nullify and void that, whether it's sickness, whether it's worry and fear, whether it's concern for the future, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, whether it's um, unforgiveness and bitterness, whether it's... Um, Oh, um, what's the word? Um, estranged family, whether it's family that have hurt them or individuals that have hurt them. Um, we just come against such lies of the enemy, such as Simon's, and we just cut them down in Jesus' name. And we just thank you, Father, that your people are set free, free through Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord, for lifting them up for filling them with a spirit of refresh and revitalization. And we just thank you that in the coming days, Lord, that we're drawing closer to you. We, we ask of you to, um, to bring revelation and wisdom and insight to open our eyes, to help us to hear you more clearly. But Father, we just press into you and we just ask of you to fill us with your love, to fill us with peace and your grace. And we just thank you so much, Lord that you have us covered, that you have not forsaken us, that we have you, Abba, Father. We can call on you for anything. And we thank you for supplying all of our needs. And we thank you for turning this nation around. And we just thank you that any agents or prophets of Baal that have sent out assignments and tried to curse this nation, Lord, we, uh, <laughs> we speak against it and we declare in Jesus' name the name that goes above every name, um, that those uh, curses and assignments, they are just shredded to pieces. They, they, it's just done. It's done in Jesus' name. And we plead the blood over this nation and we claim it for you and you alone in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Thanks, everybody, for taking the time to listen and tune in. Um, once again, thank you <laughs> uh, so much um, for your patience. And I know it's been quite a while. I'm hoping um, that being done school um, and kind of getting a new job here, I'll just be working kind of normal hours and things will be more structured. Um, so you'll be hearing from me more often um, now that things have... <laughs> settle down. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for listening and tuning in and praying with me. Um, I thank you um, once again for your patience um, and sorry for taking so long to put this video up, but um, it's all good. Uh, we thank you that the Lord's got this all handled. Um, I pray that you have a wonderful day and that the Lord blesses you and that good things, more good things are coming your way. <laughs> anyways, have a great day. Bye.